Congratulations, and thank you for purchasing the Toba Magic Fountain. This video is designed to help you through the installation process for your new product. The steps are very easy, and your new fountain will be ready to put on a show in just a few moments. First, unpack your new fountain from the box and make sure all the items outlined in the instruction booklet are available. Next, open the stainless steel band around the middle of the pool fountain by using a penny, turning slightly and then opening the latch. Now, to remove the upper portion from the lower battery compartment, you may need to lay the unit down horizontally and place one hand on top and the other on the lower portion of the unit, pressing down gently to release the two compartments. This action helps to separate the two halves easily. Now, remove the double battery recharger and the anchor from inside the battery compartment and place it next to the other items on the ground. Next, open the battery box and plug the two batteries into the double battery recharger. Allow the batteries to charge initially for a full eight hours. How to assemble the dolly. This one-time installation will make transporting your legend fountain quick and easy. Remove the dolly components from the box. You should have the main frame, a T-handle, two wheels with a larger bracket, two wheels with a shorter bracket, one support bracket, eight long two-inch screws for attaching the wheel subassemblies to the main frame, two short one-inch screws for attaching the dolly handle, one small half-inch screw for attaching the dolly handle, 10 lug nuts, 10 flat washers, one Allen wrench, one flat wrench. As described in the instructions, the wheel with the larger bracket should be placed at the top of the dolly closest to the handle. The smaller wheels will be placed at the base of the dolly. Place the body of the dolly face down. Now take the wheels and position them as shown. Use the wrench tool provided to tighten the wheels in place. Now turn the dolly over with the wheels on the ground. Place the support bracket firmly in the pre-cut hole on the center bar. Stand the dolly up and carefully position the handle so that the pre-cut holes are aligned. Use the Allen wrench provided to tighten the screws in place. Your dolly is now ready for a lifetime of use. Once the batteries are fully charged and the dolly is assembled, place the batteries inside the base of the unit and make sure they are properly plugged in. Replace the top of the unit, secure the stainless steel band and place it in the locked position. You should see that the blue indicator light at the top of the unit is now flashing, indicating that the batteries are charging the unit. If the blue indicator light does not flash, press the power switch on the top of the unit so that the power is on. The LED light on the switch area should be green and the blue indicator light should now be blinking. Choose the fountain heads you would like to display and place them on the unit. Placing your Toba fountain in your pool. Place your unit on the dolly by straddling the bottom of the dolly between one of the legs of the unit and leaning it back to lay comfortably in place. Now adjust the anchor to accommodate the depth of your pool and snap the anchor in place. Make sure that the sliders on the side of the dolly are in the down position. Lower the anchor into the pool. Roll the unit to the edge of the pool. Hold the handle firm and press it downward gently to act as a counterweight for the dolly and push the dolly forward. The first two wheels should be rolled over the side of the pool as the sliders catch the side of the pool acting as a lever. Now lift the handle up 45 degrees and carefully lower the unit into the water. Position the unit in the pool using the anchor locator and a basic pool pole, which can be purchased at a local pool supply, to place the product where you would like it. Place the batteries, which are provided with the unit, in the remote and turn it on. Now you can enjoy the full range of effects.
For those who purchase our flower wreaths to add more beauty to their unit, simply pull the fountain to the side of the pool and place your flower wreath on the top of the unit. To remove your toba fountain from your pool, you will simply do the opposite of how you placed it in the water. Remove the anchor from the pool by using your standard pool pole and anchor locator. Make sure you place the anchor away from the edge of the pool so the anchor cord will hold the fountain next to the edge of your pool. Bring your dolly next to your pool and make sure the holding arms are in horizontal position and the two end flaps are in the closed position. Make sure the sliders are in the upper position. Make sure the aluminum fork is in the down position. Lower the dolly gently in the water next to the fountain. Pay attention to ensure that one of the legs of the unit is resting between the aluminum fork. Rotate the dolly and fountain 90 degrees. Now simply rotate the handle downward. The top two wheels at the edge of the pool act as a pivot point. Now your dolly is out of the pool and in a horizontal position. Detach the anchor hook from the bottom of the dolly. Lift the dolly handles and carry it to where you will be storing the unit. To recharge your batteries after use, simply remove the top portion of the unit as instructed earlier and detach the battery plug from the batteries. No need to remove the batteries from the bottom of the compartment. You can charge your batteries while they are in the battery compartment or if you have a spare set of Toba batteries, you can replace them. Should you have any additional questions about your new Toba Magic Fountain, please contact our corporate office at 800-985-8622.